everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, heavy on the related part, we are going to be unboxing this big lot of Littlest Pet Shops that I got from Mercari. I'm super excited about this. It actually coincidentally just so happens to be from one of you guys. So if you're here, hi, thank you so much for selling these to me. I'm so, so excited about them. And um, basically I've been rearranging my Littlest Pet Shop display and it's been like super nostalgic for me because if you guys didn't know, the reason I started my first YouTube channel, this is now my third YouTube channel. Uh, my other ones didn't last very long, but my first and my second YouTube channels, I'm gonna start opening this, were both actually Littlest Pet Shop channels because that was my goal. I really wanted to be one of those uh, kids that made like the littlest pet shop skits. So I started my first channel in, I think 2008 <laughs> um, on my first little laptop that I had back then. Um, and I had a little camera, I had my little laptop. At one point I was filming my videos on my flip phone never got very far. I think my most viewed video ever that I had posted was like a thousand views and I thought that made me an actual ce celebrity. So uh, I flashed my address, but I think I'm still on the right track. Like I'm still doing toy videos. So I, th I think, it I think it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am super, super excited about these Littlest Pet Shops because I haven't bought Littlest Pet Shops online, like specifically sought them out like this in a long time like i mainly just opportunistically collect littlest pet shops because they're so expensive but i've been really falling in love with the newer littlest pet shops just because you know i occasionally find them secondhand um and sometimes you guys have been sending them to me too um and i've just been like i really like the new ones but i stopped collecting right when the like hub show came out the blythe littlest pet shop show came out um i just wasn't collecting them anymore i got in my little pony and monster high so i have like a really huge collection of the g1 through g3 if your g1 through g3 has so there's like different uh, ways people refer to them, but specifically G1 through G3 of Hasbro. So kind of the traditional Littlest Pet Shops that people are talking about when they say Littlest Pet Shop. I have a really big collection of all of those, but not a whole lot. Oh, hello. Uh, there's some other things in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, we got a rainbow high coloring book. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I think the seller threw these in um, because they recognized me. I don't know if I said that, but um, they, when I bought it, they were like, are you it's just, I was like, yeah, um, I like little sweatshops. shops. I actually don't have this one, so this is really exciting. Um, I never found this one, but I bet there's some Little's Pet Shop stuff in here, yeah. Um, so these are a ton of Little's Pet Shops, and I think most Little's Pet Shop people are really, really, like, snooty about the newer pets, but I actually really like them. I like every Little's Pet Shop generation. I think Gen 4 is the weakest to me, but I'm not sure because I don't have a whole lot of them. Um, and here's a really cute little Little's Pet Shop bag, and this is the Hub Show, so this is the art style of the Hub Show, and the show is actually really good. I haven't seen a whole lot of it just because I kind of stopped watching it after a while, but the music is incredible. Oh my god, I like, I really like the show. Anyway, so this lot has some G1 through G3 pets in it and also some newer ones, um, and specifically this is one of my grails, like one of my most wanted pets. Not like a grail grail because I don't know how much that pet actually sells for, but it's one of my like top wish list ones, I should say. I, I'm gonna keep my grails locked up. I'm not saying what they are. Um. <laughs> for now those are for me only okay so we're gonna have to like there's so much stuff in here <laughs> like and the the craziest part is because these pets are so like undervalued by the community i paid like i think 60 dollars for all of this. um and also because the seller had put them up for a really good price to begin with but also like fully little special collectors hate these to the point that they are like trying to get rid of them really really bad and they go for like really cheap so um that is good for me as somebody who actually likes them oh my god this is cute so this lot has a ton of furniture and play sets i really like the furniture and play sets but because of my current like situation i don't have the space to display all of those so um i don't go out of my way to get them but it's cool in a lot like this to be able to get them because i um lately i have not added like any cool little pet shop furniture and stuff to my collection um so i don't know what these are That actually scared <laughs> because this one was well now he's making noise earlier he wasn't anyway um <laughs> uh these are some kind of musical pets from it says 2011 but that's just the sculpt date who knows so we've got a little floppy eared doggy and a little kitty um and they actually still work which is cool so i'm gonna where to put them I'm gonna put them back in the box for now. And then we have this one who, um, I think it's supposed to be one of the fairies because 
Oh, well, it does have fairy wings. I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about these ones. I like that these are oversized, though, because in my display, the risers that I have the pets on, there's these weird, like, extra areas on the sides, and the deco pets are really expensive for some reason, and I only have one, so um, these will be really nice to fill in those weird um, extra areas that I have. This one is extremely cute. No idea what that one's deal is, though. And then we have a large pet, but not as large, but, like, look... <laughs> This is slightly terrifying. <laughs> Cute, but like a little bit horrifying. <laughs> and then we have, oh! What's your gimmick? I see that the wings move and the head turns, but how do you make like, it looks like there's a blinking mechanic. I don't know. Um, very cute though. I have no idea where those are from. Like, are they some kind of special like Happy Meal toy? I doubt it because they seem too nice, but I don't know. Um, and then we have, this cute little, it's probably a swing, actually. I was thinking it's like a little leaf umbrella, but no, I think it's a swing. I don't know, though. Probably goes to some playset. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on these playsets because I know nothing of the playsets that I don't already have. And then we have this. I don't know. Okay, let's start Let's start opening the box. Let's start opening the box. <laughs> um, oh, so this was how this uh, person's listings caught my attention. I was specifically searching for the Pets Around the World set because when I was a kid, I really wanted that set, uh, but it was really expensive and my mom was like, no. And it was exclusive to somewhere, like, we couldn't get it or maybe it was just hard to find. I don't remember. Um, but I really wanted it and I didn't get it at the time. And I was searching for that and this set came up um, in my searches and I was like, oh, I need that. So check this out. So not only does it come with a lot of really cute furniture accessories that I would have absolutely loved as a kid, because often I would buy sets just for the furniture. Um, obviously I would end up enjoying the pets too, but I would like strategically pick ones that had good furniture and stuff. Cause like this little table or bench or whatever that's supposed to be, uh, look how cute. And like the banana and this little, like, maybe it's a bamboo or something. I don't know. Some kind of little plants, a hat. Like this is a great little accessory set, but it came with four pets and fascinatingly, cause I, this was not on purpose. It happens to be the set that came with this bird that I got the other day, um, from the, um, lot that I bought from Ray. Uh, so yeah, very cool. So I got that bird again. Um, but this is the pet that I wanted. Unfortunately, this one's not in like perfect condition, but I don't care that much. She's just missing a little bit of paint on the nose. Um, but there's this really cute little stripey kitty. Super, super cute. This one does need some cleaning. But anyway, I found this lot and then I looked at the seller's page because I was kind of justifying like, oh, I want that. It's a good price, but I don't know. And then the seller had this other lot. And I was like, okay, that seals the deal for me because now the shipping is combined. Um, and then I got this cute monkey with a little stripey tail. Really cute one. Because most of the monkeys are basically identical to each other, uh, but this one is actually quite interesting. And then a hippo. Um, I don't believe I have a hippo yet. And if I do, it's a newer gen hippo. I don't have any of these. I believe this is gen, these are gen three, according to like, if you sort by Hasbro generations. So, so some people sort like Kenner is gen one and then Hasbro up to these is gen two and then gen three is the hub show or something but no like the the hasbro generational divides are based on logos these are gen three okay that's what i'm going with it's the lps merch um system i guess um but anyway this hippo is extremely cute i really like this one love it okay so this is i think called the pets in the jungle set and i really wanted this guy so now i have this set yay and this was this came out like right after I stopped collecting, so yeah, it's a set I did not have a chance to get a hold of. Okay, so we're gonna keep the pets separate and then put all the other stuff back in the box because I'm gonna sort all this stuff. I love the little the steak, it's adorable. Um, I have to sort all I love this by the way, this is awesome. I love little structures like this. Um Unfortunately, these will have to be sorted and put away for now. I'll use them for photography and little skits and stuff, probably, but they won't be on display. This is cute, too. So many cute, like, furniture pieces. Like, look at this. This reminds me of G4 My Little Pony, actually. Like, just the vibe of this, I don't know. And then we've got another one. And, um, a slide, I think. <laughs> okay. And then we have, this is a Blythe scooter. I think this was one from one of the first Blythe Loves Little Patch-Up sets. I think this is the one that comes with the Corgi, right? I don't know. Uh, but the Blythes are in here, so let's let's check them out. So if you are not aware, if you've, if you've heard of the Blythe doll line and you're like, what are you talking about? Um, for some reason, because Hasbro has the rights to Blythe right now, I believe, they did this, like, 
Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop thing and made these mini Blythes. These were, I was not interested in these when they came out. I was like, no. <laughs> um, but I like them a lot now. I just, I didn't understand Blythe back then. We weren't on the same page. <laughs> we, we had not reached a mutual understanding yet. Okay, so here's a blonde Blythe and a brown haired Blythe and red haired Blythe. Um, I think this is probably the one that goes to the... Do they have changing shoes, I wonder? I don't think so. <gasps> they do. I didn't know that. Oh, well, duh. These ones don't have shoes on. Um, anyway, I've had a couple of lights that I've just gotten secondhand here and there, but I've never like, bought any specifically. Oh, look at this little hat. I wonder, I, I wonder if they're wearing their outfits or not, because none of these are ringing the bell as the one who goes to the scooter. But I do remember that scooter set. Oh, this little jacket. It's a little leather jacket. And then there's a little Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop stand. This is awesome, actually. I also love that it's called Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop. Like, isn't that just cute? And then, so they're usually just themed after the pets that they came with. Also, the little comb. Headphones. Oh, darling. Anyway, there's dolls in this video. x Dance is classic. We've got dolls. We're good. Like, woohoo. And then another little outfit. I don't know. I'm gonna have to research these and figure out what their deal is because I know nothing about the Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop situation there's like one of my holiest holy grails in like toy collecting in general is actually from a Blythe Loves Little Pet Shop set but it's the pet that came with it um but everybody else has gotten the memo on how cool that pet is so I don't think that's ever happening for me rainbow cloud seesaw cute some other stuff and this some really cool stuff okay um what I am interested in mainly are the pets and boy, do I have a haul for you today of pets. Little pet shop pets. I love them. Okay. I'm going to get this little platform so you guys can actually see what we have work, what we're working with here. So this is the box I use for white balancing. <laughs> okay. Check this out. So I believe this is a Gen 4 by the eyes. Um, and Gen 4s just have these really like detailed eyes that aren't my favorite. But um, I really like the sculpts that Gen 4 did. And also they did like a lot of interesting animals that um, they hadn't really done before. Or if they did, they didn't do a whole lot. Anyway little seal. Actually, is that not a seal? Is it a sea lion? I don't know the difference between those animals in real life, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not super familiar. But that one has a little puppy nose. I don't know. Anyway. Ah! Ah! This is like a squishy... I think these are called squishums. I was not expecting that when I touched... Like, when I grabbed it, I was like... Um, so here's a squishum. This is Zoe Trent. To the full extent. She's a big star. She's gonna sing the songs and represent... I don't remember. There's like an intro song for all the hub characters. Um, I think I have this one already, which is going to happen when you buy lots of uh, like big lots of things. And then here's a bunny one. Again, how do you make the gimmick work? I don't know, but look, blink, little bunny. Oh, I guess you do this. Interesting. There's these larger pets with the funny gimmick. What is this? Is this like Zoobles? <laughs> Says LPS. What is that? It's like a ice cream creature. I don't know what this is. Um, is that... I guess some weird things happened at some point. I'm just gonna move on from that. <laughs> um, and then we've got a little cash register that also has a little food and water spot, I guess. Or maybe they're for those weird ball things. I don't know. I don't actually think I have this pet. And I know I have a bunny, though, like in the sculpt, so I'm not sure. Um, but this one's extremely cute. And the reason I'm not super familiar is because I've gotten them thrifting occasionally, but they're not on display yet. I would like to get them on display soon. And then we have this little fox guy. Extremely adorable. And one of the fairies. I love these. I wanted them when they came out, but I was transitioning into collecting, um, two for My Little Pony. And that was kind of consuming me, so... Because I, like, grew out of toys, but then I was like, no, I'm collecting G4 My Little Pony. It's different. Look online. There's a lot of G4 My Little Pony collectors. Like, for some reason, to me, My Little Pony was, like, prestigious enough. It was, like, cool enough. <laughs> I don't know. There was a there was a minute where I cared what people thought about my toy collection. Um, so, anyway, it made me miss out on the fairies. But, luckily, Little Pet Shop people don't seem to care about the fairies. Like, they don't seem very expensive. Thank God. Because I need to hurry up and get them before they get the memo that those are really cool. And then we've got a Zoe Trent. I actually have never gotten every single one of the hub characters, which is really weird. I don't think I have a Penny Lang. I don't think I have a Sunil. No, I have a Sunil. I don't know. I know I don't have all of them. All right. And then we have 
this little stinker. I don't remember this one's name. This is the little bunny that hangs out with sugar sprinkles in the show. Um, I love sugar sprinkles. Her song, Sprinkles on My Head. Oh my god, chart topper, truly. <laughs> Super cute. And then, so yeah, I... I have one of the bunnies that's in the sculpt, but this one's very natural. So something that happened later in Little's Pet Shop, I feel like they got bored of doing more like natural looking animals. And in Gen 4, these are like kind of out of nowhere. Like there's not a whole lot of natural looking ones in, or sorry, in Gen 3, these ones are pretty natural. But usually like in Gen 2 Hasbro and Gen 3 Hasbro, they get pretty unrealistic, like their color schemes. So this is actually really weird to see in Gen 4 because Gen 4 specifically off the rails, like... <laughs> the color schemes and like the overall looks i mean and you even this is at the end of gen 3 you get these fairy ones um okay and then we have a fire hydrant that i think those weird marble things go in i don't know what the deal with those marble things is okay i'm gonna move these pets because oh, i i didn't mean to do it so violently um we have these little mini pets so this was my biggest issue with the later gens of Lil's pet shop is that they really started pushing these tiny guys i love a tiny guy as an accessory to a large guy. Um, but during these later gens, they really, really emphasize these. And like, especially the most recent ones that came out around like 2017 that unfortunately got discontinued really fast, even though they were the best little pet shops ever made. And I'm standing on that ground. Um, nobody agrees with me. I'm kind of alone in that opinion, but oh my God, they were amazing. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's any in this lot, unfortunately. I'm trying though. Um, they emphasized these medium ones and then some like super tiny ones. And I'm like, that's not what I want. I want... Even though these aren't bobbleheads, they're still in the spirit. Like, they stopped being bobbleheads at some point for some reason. Um, but I, I want ones like this with the big oversized head. Like, okay, and here's more of these weird marble things. This is so uncomfortable. I don't under- I've never seen these before in my life. Like, I don't- and I'm pretty- I feel like I'm not super well-versed on those special- Oh, is this- is his name Russell? I don't remember. Of course I'd forget him. The little hedgehog guy. Um, anyway, those are terrifying. Like, I- I don't- I'm not sure about them. Is this supposed to be Zoe Trent? I think so. Um, when you can release her from this flesh prison. Anyway. Um, we've got, I think that's what all these little things are for. Like, Or maybe this. This has a little hole. So it's supposed to be for these little guys. Anyway, like, I love a little guy. Like, the teeniest, tiniest little pet shops. Amazing. But when you're when you're releasing like more of these than you do regular size pets, which is what they started doing in I don't even know what that gen is seven, eight, nine the 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 most recent little pet shops they did. Poop, stupid. Uh, oh, oh god. No, no. I mean I like those; they're funny, but um, they're not the stars today. Anyway, here they are. I love this little cat one. I just love the cats, like, pretty basic. If it's, like, a snake or a crocodile, snakes are my favorite. I don't have a single crocodile yet, by the way, and it is actually criminal. Um, they keep evading me. Okay, well, I'm not I'm not picking those back up. Some baby bunnies. Anyway, so those are our little guys. Again, super like them, but most, like, and a lot of lots that I find, too, are mostly these little guys. And it's like, no, I want the normal-sized ones. It's very frustrating. But as someone who's trying to actively collect during the most recent gen, like, you couldn't. Like, every big pack you'd get that was, like, comes with 14 pets. It was two, if that, full-sized ones, and then a bunch of medium ones and small ones. And it's like, no, I want, like, ten regular-sized ones and maybe two small ones. Like, I don't understand. I, like, Little's Pet Shop was successful for a reason. And it, I don't think it was the little guys. Maybe it was doing better. I don't know. Anyway, so here's these. So, yes. Okay, so... My favorite little sweatshop, like one of my top favorites, is this cricket one that I randomly found. I think they're crickets. Maybe it's a grasshopper. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, but one of these little guys, and it was a blue one. I think it was one of the blind bag ones. This is also one of the blind bag ones, if I recall correctly. I don't. I, I don't know. But I've known about this one for a while, and I actually did not notice that this was in the lot. So I'm really hyped that it was, because um, again, this is one of my like top wish list little sweatshops. Just cause, and again, I don't think anybody cares about this pet, but I do because, oh my God, isn't the sculpt just darling? Like he's so cute. He's so cute. So now I have another one. And then this is another one that um, interests me a lot. I love these little crabs because um, the other little pet shop crab molds, specifically like the hermit crab, I don't know, they're fine. Um, but this, this is a crab, like you did it and it's adorable. And I love the stupid little arms, like absolutely darling. 
I have two crabs already and I don't think this is one of them. We will see. Um, regardless though, I'm very, very happy. And then this is a walkable. These must have done well because they kept doing them. They started coming out went back like in what, 2007, like when I was collecting. But anyway, um, there, I don't, this one doesn't work. I never had any when I was a kid. Um, I have some that I've gotten secondhand, but anyway, if you press the little button, they would walk, but they always had these really cursed, like, sculpts, like, look how weird, um, and, like, dachshund looking this horse is because of the gimmick. Um, anyway, I have a few of these, again, that I've gotten secondhand, but they're not, they're not a priority for me. They are, they are cute, though. They're cute. I think this is Minka Mark or something. I'm trying to remember the song off the top of my head, but I only remember that Zoe Trent part. For example, I hope the skunk's not in here because I fully forgot her name. I don't think she, she is, so we're in the clear. Um, and then here's a, ah, her arm. <laughs> Where's her arm? Oh, I was going to say, um, I don't have any like normal Minkas yet, I don't think. But she's missing her arm, but that's okay. Um, so I, I just have this strange baking one. See, another, oh, and never mind, this is one of those gimmick ones. She blinks. Um, they did a lot of weird stuff like this where it's like, I don't know, I just want the pets. Because <laughs> I remember um, Sunil I really wanted. Uh, back when the Hub Show came out, I actually was seeking out a Sunil, but I could not find one that was, like, normal. Oh, not, not Sunil. Who's the... Sunil's the mongoose. I wanted the, the lizard. Uh, Vinny? It's Russell, Vinny, and Sunil. So Vinny is the really funny lizard guy. I wanted him. Uh, I could not find him. Because it would either be like a weird gimmick one, or he just wasn't in the set, or you could only get him in like these big sets. So when the Hub Show first came out, I remember it was like a really big pain to get him. And then I was like, you know what? I just found Monster High. Like, I'm good. Like, good. sorry, little special job. I, I'm, I found something else. So they lost that sale. And maybe I would have kept going on Little Spatch Shop. Maybe. And then we've got two Penny Lings, who, again, I don't believe I had a Penny Ling. So now I have two. Um, if this is the kind of standard Penny Ling sculpt, I definitely never had one. Penny Ling is interesting, too, because the Littlest Pet Shop logo... It's probably on that bag. Where did it go? It's actually not. But the, the Littlest Pet Shop, like, main logo that they use on everything is just Penny Ling. And it's been for, like, I think since Gen 3. Um, but this wasn't like a pet that existed. So it was kind of cool that in the Hub Show they did this. And I always had this like, I was like, what's the deal with pandas? Like, are they super popular or something? Like, I never understood that. But anyway, then Penny Ling happened. Um, and she didn't end up being a main, I mean, she was like a main character, but not the main character. And then we've got this little silly ferret. So Gen 4 is definitely like a transitional stage. Um, this design for a ferret like the stylization of the body is so stinking cute i'm not the biggest fan of the faces like i'm not mad at styling of them but i think in the show they look a lot better and once you get like beyond this gen they they have like a weird period and then they get good again in my opinion so anyway oh my god there's so many fairies over here but first let's get through the non-fairies we've got this owl it's a very interesting one. I wonder if this is an actual character in the show. I don't remember this guy. But too much design going on to just be like a regular schmegular owl. But, oh my god, I love this sculpt. It's so cute. This is a little armadillo. Isn't it? Not good for, like, playing with because, like, oh, I'm walking around on my, like, butt. Um, But, yeah. Adorable. So cute. And that's what, like... They started doing a lot more sculpts, especially, again, the most recent gen, I am going to spend, I'm going to spread so much propaganda about those, especially if I get a lot of those and I can make a video about them. <laughs> um, I need to find them for sale. I just need to keep checking, keep checking, see if anything comes up. Um, I just, I actually just posted in the little special Facebook groups, like, hey, does anyone have, like, the newer gens? I want to buy them, please. So, maybe soon. Um, but this little guy like is an example like a big example they started doing like fun sculpts like even though i kind of don't like this situation like it's still like they gave you a different sculpt that they weren't doing so like if you have multiple armadillos you have like multiple different poses it's fun um the most recent gen really did it well because there's like what like 10 different cat sculpts right out the gate and that that line lasted for like a year or two like it did not last very long the majority of pets are minis though I'm not even talking about the minis. I'm talking about, like, the main ones. Anyway, uh, another Zoe Trent. She's a star. She's a singer. She's so goofy. Um, cutie pie. She had, like, a little hat. And then we have this little dog, which is actually really cute. Um, 
and I'm not like, oh, these aren't little pet shops. Like, I actually like them, but they definitely are quite different. So I understand why people don't like these um, as much. But, like, some of them, like this one, I really like. I like the unnatural color pets. Like, them being, like, they don't have to be natural colors for me. I don't care. Um, but the eyes are the thing. Like, I don't like the eye style as much for Gen 4. Um, but these are so cute. Uh, anyway, okay. Now it's time for the fairies. This one, I love that all the fairies have, like, different, like, animals that they're kind of inspired by. Most of them are mammalian, but this one's kind of lizardy. How cute is this? This is a lizard butt. I love this one. I don't have any like this, actually. Um, and then this one with the cool wings. And this one's kind of, like, elf. Um, I forgot the word for poodle. I was literally sitting there like, parrot? No, poodle. Um, elf, poodle, bunny creature love it um and then we have see a lot of most of them are pretty i love the eyes on this one though this one's really cute um i don't even know this one's kind of like a hamster face but like a. are those hooves i think those are hooves like a llama body i don't know and then we oh another little lizard one how cute that's the best one and then okay so this one's weird is this a butterfly or is it a fairy from like gen 4 i think it's gen 4 no the eyes are confusing i don't know look like, what is this one the wings are cool though not great quality i'd prefer ones like this but this is still pretty cool uh question mark i have no idea what this is and then look at this one with the little branch flower antlers are you kidding me oh those are awesome this one's really cool so Anyway, the fairies rock. I think most people were uh, liked Little's Pet Shops as like animals, like pets though. So these were definitely like a sign of the changing times at the end of G3. So I know they weren't super popular, but they'll always be popular in my heart. Anyway, uh, then we have Accessory Town. So I actually think this is fully McDonald's uh, ones, which is kind of fun because I only had one McDonald's one as a kid and it was a little hedgehog. Maybe he's in here. We'll see. <gasps> Vinny. He's not like a little special up Vinny, but he'll do. Uh, and then we have a little bulldog. And these were meant to be like little backpack hangers. This look, no, the one that I had was on a little platform. As a kid. I still have them though, so. Um, and then we have a little ferret. Right? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, this is like just not a little special up, <laughs> but it is. Uh, and then a little hummingbird little giraffe these actually count by the way in the like little patch up numbering scheme so they will maybe go on display maybe I don't, I don't care about having a complete collection or anything um and the mcdonald's ones are very cute but they're not in the same scale as the regular ones and that bothers me uh we got minka i'm gonna be really embarrassed if that's not her name uh armadillo this is like a gen two or three armadillo and then we've got this little bulldog we've got this mouse We've got this squirrel, uh, the squail, and then we've got this little hammy, and then we got this one still in box. This is from the most recent gen, I'm pretty sure. This that's what this looks like to me. Yeah, and there was like a oh, this is a subway one. 2017, yeah. Yeah, I said yes. Wait. I said yes anyway <laughs> okay then we have another one of this freak um penny ling in a dress with her head up backward there we go <laughs> dress is really cute they're killing me russell ferguson right they all had last names <laughs> um sweet little ladybug this guy again um <laughs> it comes to this She's a comedian. I remember in the song, like, <laughs> I don't remember. I re this is, she's a comedian. Russell Sunil, he's a mongoose. Uh, there's an intro song. I'm trying, guys. Uh, and then we have some cute little birds. It's interesting, though, because these are, like, the same sculpts. But they're they're made out of, like, a cheaper plastic, of course, because they're Happy Meal toys. Um, oh! I want the actual pet that this is so bad. 
Um, but you can't really, like, get her online because she's, like, she's expensive. So even if you found a real one, she'd be expensive. But a lot of people are selling fake ones. Um, and I cannot be bothered to figure all that out. So I'm leaving it alone. Oh, another one. And she's been cut off the base. So cute. Um, I just love the cats. Which sucks because everybody loves the cats. We've got Minka again. I can't believe I just straight up don't remember her name. <laughs> um, here's the Zoe chart with hair. Sunil. His name's like Sunil Melba? Melba? Another Zoe Trent with hair. We got a lot of McDonald's ones. I was so excited when I was a kid. I remember when the McDonald's ones came out and I went to go get mine and I was like, I'm good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is your name? Don't feel the need to comment her name um, and call me stupid, by the way, because I will have already Googled it. Oh my God. <laughs> and then this, I'm pretty sure we're the one like... Uh, this is probably from when I was like the specific one I'm referring to that I had one from when I was a kid mine was a little hedgehog and he was weird because those pet shops did not look like him like I don't even know what he was based on little monkey he was just very off model and then we have a really cute Zoe Trent this freak again this is just squirrel one it's Penny we've got Penny again Super cute little puppy. I don't have a whole lot in this sculpt, actually. Um, who are you? Who are you? Little bunny with her ears down so that she could fit in here. Uh, Zoe. And this guy, Russell. <laughs> and then this little dog. Okay. Get back into the box. It's a lot of McDonald's ones. <laughs> Alrighty. And then, last but not least... We need to figure out what is in here. I think this is where all the little stuff is. Also, thank you so much for this lunchbox. By the way, I'm really excited about it. That was like a really fun extra. Yeah, so this is the littlest stuff. The littlest stuff that came with the littlest pet shops. Littlest pet shop. Friends, if you're here, I have a little bit of a lost media search for you. So when I was a kid, there's this specific commercial I've been reciting ever since I was a kid and I can't find it. And I found one that's similar. So there was this like era where they were like, we believe. And it's like around the time the like, it was like this black and white swirly Dalmatian came out. And also like around the time Blythe started, it was like, we believe pets look better with big eyes. And that's the specific line from the commercial. And I can't find that commercial. It's driving me commercial. I can't find that commercial and it's actually driving me crazy. So if you know what I'm talking about, please help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the little stuff. Here we go. <laughs> we need to have a banquet here today. A cake. Oh, I think this is from... So, Blythe style were the um, Hub Blythe dolls, which totally different. Like, it's not a Blythe doll. It's Blythe from the Hub show, who uh, she's voiced by Rainbow Dash, so it's kind of fun. Um, but anyway, I am desperate for, like, a few of these. Like, some of these are holy, holy girls for me. Uh, anyway. And then we've got cake. Little cat tree. This thing! Basket! Little... I don't know. Um... Another, like, little... It's, like, birthday -y. It looks like a cupcake. One of these freaks again. <laughs> Um, those are so fascinating. I'm gonna have to look into what the heck they were thinking with those. This is, you can make like a little Mad Hatter table. Uh, super cute. Just a little like, wah, you got a dessert under there or something. A little easel! Little Pet Shops had some great accessories. I loved the bench. I have the pink bench. It was my favorite. Um, it came with like a little pigeon that pooped on it. That, by the way, that's where the bench came from. The original one. This, I don't know. They started using it more after that. And then we've got this really cute little peacock one kind of looks like one of the blind bag pets which oh my god i love the blind bag pets i only have a few but they are so cool and then we've got a little cloud swing we've got a little table which these came with yeah a little umbrella i love this table but everyone removed the umbrella so that you could just have a table because there weren't really tables in little's pet shop world uh so you'd have to flip other things over to make a table this is awesome this is a little display rack i loved the cake display stand in um the Twinkle Twirls Dance Studio Generation 3 set. I loved it as a kid. Loved it, loved it. Cake? I don't know. Uh, this is actually a table. That's weird. I don't have anything in that sculpt yet. Another little... Ta-da! I mean, what do these go to exactly? Because there has to be, like, something to put under, right? 
it's too big. Like, oh. Woo. And then maybe this. Too big. But this looks like a cheesecake. Is that the in is that the intention? Who knows? Cute. This looks like the bone you feed to Ochi in Pikmin 4. Make sure you play that. Came out today. Uh, and then we have the walkables horse little cardboard thing. As a kid, I actually kept a lot of these. Like, I have a bunch of them. I found them. Uh, and then we've got a little menu. Adorable. In, in theory, it is a scooter and it has wheels. My only assumption is that this somehow goes to like the walkables so that it looks like she's scootering automatically, but she doesn't fit. I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna have to figure this out. This is bizarre. <laughs> Go ahead, get on the scooter. Uh, is there like a platform? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Look at these. Do these go to one of the little baby ones? Absolutely darling. Uh, anyway, extremely cute. Little coconut drinks. This is great. Lunch tray. Little chew. Chew shoe. Yeah, I was gonna say shoe to chew, but I, I got distracted there. I got lost. Um, little rainbow. I wonder if these go to the fairies, like all these rainbow and cloud themed things. Probably do. Although, for the most part, the sunglasses and stuff will fit everybody, so this doesn't really tell me that much that it actually fits her, because, like, hopefully it would. Um, I've got some, like, these are swanky. Hold on. Um, we need to find a Gen 1 through 3, because these will not fit on the Gen 4s, I fear. Um, they won't fit on you either. They look really silly. <laughs> Hello. A rolling pin? The scale of some of these things is so funny. Like, this is a full cake, like a multi-tiered cake, and this is a rolling pin. I mean, <laughs> and, like, this is a human shoe, right? And this is a rolling pin. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, really cute little basket. Little pond. This is heavy. Why is this so heavy? Whoa, it's made out of, like, a soft vinyl. That was not expected. Weird. Um, anyway, we don't have to go through all of these, like, accessory by accessory, but they're a little table. No, like, rational sized tables in Lola's Pet Shop. Like, I just want, like, a sensible dining room table. I had to use, like, other things, like cardboard I would make a little table out of. Like, what? <laughs> anyway, like, my Lola's Pet Shops, they were a family. They wanted to sit at the table together, and they couldn't. I would have to get cardboard. <laughs> like, um, oh. Does this go in the scooter? No. Oh, wait. Does it? I think it's a coincidence. I think this just is its own thing. But it has a... I don't know. Lowe's Pet Shop. I know the ones that I have, and that's it. <gasps> Two benches. Yep. Two benches. That is exciting. I love this little lunch tray. I'm dying over this lunch tray. This is probably my favorite accessory in here. I also super like this, though. But, like, the lunch tray... Yeah, absolutely darling. I love it. I love it. Anyways, so now I have quite a few more Gen 4 pets than I had before. So I'm going to build my display for my newer Littles Pet Shops, and I have two completely full empty shelves to put them on, but I don't even think I have enough to fill, like, two rows. I mean, I have... For the most recent gen, I have quite a few, but I wasn't collecting a whole lot of those because I was very frustrated by the lack of full-sized ones. And by full-sized, I mean these. Just not minis or mini... Not mediums. Not minis. The only acceptable medium was... Well, there's some pretty cute ones, but the ba the only one that I, like, went out of my way to get was the anglerfish one because, like... Ah! There's an older anglerfish, by the way, that I just learned about the other night, and I'm really mad about it now. <laughs> um, Anyway. I don't even know where I was going with it. Oh, so now I I have like enough pets to start making progress and building my little display, which I'm super excited about because I love me some little pet shops and um, I want to have a display for like all of the gens. I don't know if I'm ever going to have as many of the newer gen ones as I do the older gens just because the older gens were the ones that I had as a kid, but I love them all and I was pretty sad that I didn't experience the other gens as they were coming out. They just kind of slipped right past um, because those gens didn't do so hot, they didn't really get a whole lot of promo, and they just kind of, like, faded into obscurity pretty quickly. So, and I was really, really preoccupied with dolls and My Little Ponies and other things at that time. So, just 
skipped right past uh, for me. And that's unfortunate because I think they're super cool. I would have been the most vocal, annoying fan of them, which they desperately needed, I think. <laughs> I wonder if this... <gasps> I don't think it's supposed to. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, my favorite pet, important, that I got today is this one. Um, but I also... Which one? Probably Mr. Orange. So, um, these are my favorites today. I'm very predictable. <laughs> no surprises here. Um, but I'm also, I, I super like these little stinkers. And this, I like, I like the little fox too. And I'm really excited about some new Zoe's. Like, look, this one has little, I mean, Zoe Trent was invented to sell well. And I think it probably worked because she is absolutely darling. And she's all over the merchandise too. And I love this. I can store my like accessories and stuff in here. It's just super, super cute. Um, and yeah, I kind of threw her. Sorry, girl. <laughs> uh, but see, you've got a Zoe Trent variant here. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'd love to hear what, how you guys feel about Little's pet shops. Like, what gen did you have, if you know? <laughs> um, or just like, did they look like any of the ones in these videos? Uh, I super like them. Pretty soon, Basic Fun, which is the company that um, does the My Little Pony G1 reproductions, is actually coming out with um, Littlest Pet Shop reproductions of some sort. And I assume they are going to be the reproductions of, like, the ones that kind of look like this, but the earlier ones, so, like, 2006. Which, to me, is a little lame, because I already have those. But the promo pictures actually show the 2017 pets, which is confusing. Uh, but I assume those were just placeholders. Um... I would be so hyped if they were the 2017 pets though because those are my favorite. I'm not kidding. Like those are actually my favorite pets that Little's Pet Shop has done. I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, someday we'll we'll do like a Little's Pet Shop collection video. So you'll get to see it. Uh, but anyway, that's it. This is a long video. Um, thank you so much to the seller on Mercari who um, listed these because I was super, super pumped to be able to get this set. And then also all this other stuff as like a bonus was super, super exciting. And I'm so grateful. It's really hard to add little specials to your collection because sellers have recognized that a lot of the original gen pets are worth a lot of money, but they don't equate that like absolutely nobody on earth wants these newer ones except me. Um, so they'll they'll list these ones for those same exorbitant prices and it's really annoying um because like do i think like or i'm happy to pay for these whatever they're like worth but i know they're not they're worth, like maybe a dollar each probably less you know for most of them the majority of them so i'm not spending the same amount as i'd spend on gen one through three because gen one through three you have to spend more on them so um i'm looking for the going rate is what i'm looking for uh but anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so, so much for watching yeah talk to me about little's pet shop Today's little patch up day. Sorry, no dolls. <laughs> There's some Blythe dolls. There were some Blythe dolls. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.